Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why in my lab safety manual, what I'm going to write about them. I mean, they're the safety people, but knowing about them doesn't make you safer. I wonder, should I do Strymium Immortally for Whoa, Dude 2? I guess that was our reaction, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. You know, screw homework, I'm going to go do some No, stuff. go do homework. But Steam Awards, I'm going to try it again. I was, like, asleep when I did them earlier, so I couldn't think of anything. <clears throat> Hellblade's on sale. What is? Hellblade. Oh. It, it has graphics. It's apparently really good. It's indie-ish. It just has some flaws. Really? What? It's not a perfect game? No. Library. Undertale. What? It's you know, on OSHA formaldehyde? What's OSHA formaldehyde? I don't know. You have uh, the internet. How's it different from regular formaldehyde? What the heck is mom's spaghetti? <laughs> exactly. There's. They have. I mean, they have descriptions. Don't don't vote based on their title. Grim Enough doesn't quite work for Undertale, even though it almost exactly works. Right. I mean, it sort of does. I mean, choices matter. I was gonna say, I will put it for choices matter. Where, where should I plant these turnips? I'm guessing that is going to go to Stardew Valley. Haunts my dreams, Fitz. Um, I don't know which one I'll do for Hunts My Dream. Mom's Spaghetti is just for a game that gets you really excited. Why? <laughs> because they're talking weak knees, sweaty palms, fear-induced accidents. Excited. The game that I'm looking most for... Wait, does it have to be a game I own? Oh, no, it doesn't have to I be. I don't know gonna say because if it's one that I'm excited about and it's not out yet then I can't what well maybe it has to be out I don't know because the one I'm looking the most forward to right now is this one finding paradise which is the follow-up to um to the moon yeah to the moon yes let's yeah cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war award I don't know what this means even Oh, uh, I think. Oh, it's for a game that has potential. For so why to be a rampaging force of me. Why call it that then? These names are terrible. I don't know. Cause I mean, like having the potential to be a rampaging force of nature could include like Borderlands too. I mean, there are. That game has already realized its potential. It's done. What do you mean? It's not going to be developed further, I'm pretty sure. There, this isn't all for ones being developed further, only well, the one potential. is. potential. The game has realized its potential. No, as in you, the player, no, have the potential to. game. I think. It says, or not. Who knows? You're an agent of chaos, and no one is going to tell you what to do. So, it's sort of, sorry, you could vote on a game for this, or not, or I don't get it. Better than I expected award. Because, see, I don't remember setting expectations for many games. Um. I guess I just look through my favorites. Suspension of disbelief, let's be honest. Game can have really ridiculous elements in it. Protagonists themselves. This award is for the game that has the key component, which, described out of context, seems totally insane. While playing a game doesn't even make you.
you bat an eye. Just vote Undertale for all of them. I could. <laughs> you could. It was the same last year. The only thing that made me sad was that last year Undertale was beaten by um, Gravy Train. Uh, Walking Dead. And while Walking Dead was a really, really well written game and everyone gives it praise, I'm sad Undertale didn't win. See, they play games that did, I enjoyed more than I expected to, but none that were just like, whoa! The one that I would probably put for that is um, Seasons After Fall, because Seasons After Fall, I wasn't really expecting it to be good, I just thought it was pretty, and I thought it was probably worth the money to enjoy it, and I really, really liked it. Um, I mean, Undertale, it, I was kind of under the expectation that it was really good, because you don't usually get that much fanfare without it having some quality, unless it's FNAF. Um, but other than that, <laughs> defies description. Um. Oh, the Woe Dude 2.0 word. I don't even know what that means. It's for the fear and loathing in Las Vegas of video games. Which one? The Woe Dude It means it's really weird and trippy. That's all it means? The fear and loathing in Las Vegas is about some guys who get high and go through Las Vegas. See, it's they fun. need to explain themselves. Not everyone in the world has seen it, just most people, probably, I guess. Celebrate the game, most lovingly rendered character. I don't know what is a lovingly rendered character. Groot. I mean, if I want to go by the game I have with the best body graphics would probably be Doom. Seasons After Fall. Cuphead, Cuphead. The where most love went into the art, you mean? Rendered, as in, like, fully, like, visually complex, realized. I don't know, my computer can't handle that. Super detailed. Is. I'm probably gonna put Doom for that. Yeah, st putting Striving for Whoa, dude. You earned it. What the hell? <laughs> Did you see that I typed, like, the titles of the videos in the style of that? Yes. Dark! Quark! Oh, are we recording? Yeah, I'm streaming my Steam Award nominations. Better than, yeah, let's see. Defies description? I know there's a game I had trouble describing, but I forget what it is. It wasn't Strymium, actually. No, it's easy to describe uh, Strymium. Strymium is Hero Core on LSD. Yeah. Whew, it's I very can't. easy to describe it. Guys, I did a sneeze. Um, Soul of Vitruvius. Broforce is Power Rangers. Do what? Is that one of the things? No. Oh. <laughs> Even better than I expected. Let's see, which games was I, like, really surprised by how good uh, they were? Maybe Duck Game it defies description? No, because you could say it's Smash with homicidal tendencies and no, ducks. No, it's not really. That's how I interpret it. Um, Mother Russia Bleeds might be a better than I expected it. It was a game about drugs. In Russia, in blood. It wasn't about mom. Let's see here. I'll go through all the games I've played section and see what we got. Dust and Elysian Tale was really good. It doesn't matter. Everything I nominate's never gonna win. <laughs> Except maybe Undertale, because Undertale has enough fame that it could win. I mean, yeah, Strymium's not gonna win any awards because it's. No one even knows it exists. Right. Does not get the better than I expected award. Rocket Birds. <laughs> Shin. What? Does not get the better than I expected award. Oh no. Rocket Birds. <laughs> I had. I expected it to be okay, but I was. It was. Scared. It was worse than I expected. <laughs> it was mediocre at best. At least the two players. Another game that could get woe, dude, was Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Or Super Time Force Ultra. I mean, if the, one of those won... I think I would Super not... Hot won the first Woe Dude. I feel that's fair. That is a Woe Dude game. 
No apology. So it's a game that you love unconditionally? Oh. Okay. Okay, so here's a question I have. Um... The world is grim enough, let's just all get along. Games delight and entertain us, giving us much-needed breaks from the sorrows and low points of our lives. Let's be honest. For a lot of people, it's been a rough 2017, and that's why SASC has chosen to celebrate games that don't involve combat or conflict. So it's just a happy time game. You could technically nominate Plague, Inc. under that definition. <laughs> well, it sort of has conflict. So it'd be like something like Stardew Valley, except it has combat? Yeah, Stardew Valley has combat. Cuphead. Cuphead has a lot of combat. It is combat. And jumping. It's jumping plus combat. It's jumping and shooting. It is. Audio Surf. Audio Surf? Audio Surf would be a good one. You try not it. to ram the bad thing. Um, Isaac? Jet Set Radio technically doesn't have any combat. Yeah, it has a lot of you. vandalism. It has people attacking you. Yeah, but you don't attack them. <laughs> when they attack you, they shoot you, and they go, Hello. Hello, child. And that's pretty violent. <laughs> Punch Club does not count for this award. <laughs> I could give Weapon of Choice for Better Than I Expected. Better Than I Expected, maybe Freedom Planet is also acceptable. Because I expected it to be okay, but Trans it is good. Transform Ice, I guess, does, isn't violent. Metal Slug is not qualified for that. <laughs> Fatty Bear's birthday surprise! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Super Meat Boy doesn't oh, have nostalgia. combat quite. Nostalgia. But again, it has things attacking you. Yes, it is violent. And there's still conflict going on. Um... I gotta figure out which one I would do for the cat lady. So he's busy for the happy, the happy good feels game. But it can't be Undertale. Correct. Because half of Undertale is all about being the most horrible person you can be. Well, we you can also just ignore that half, like we do. That half didn't. Happen. That half doesn't exist. I'm a historical revisionist, and it doesn't even exist. Battle Block Theater has battle in its name and theater. WWE 2K16 is pretty much entirely about combat and conflict. But not very good. <laughs> it's very annoying. Um, Phantom Breaker is definitely about fighting. It's a bit of up. Man, we have a lot of punchy games. Most games are punchy games, apparently. It's too bad that it says conflict, because otherwise Osir technically could qualify. <laughs> <laughs> But it is a game about conflict. Yes. The fu the silliest conflict. Uh, I don't know how much to nominate, man. I guess I could just nominate... I genuinely am stuck with either nominating Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, which is nostalgia forever for me, or Monster Gone Rush. Home, and I did not like to the, the story of Gone Home. Does To the Moon have conflict? Really? To the... Well, I mean, it has conflict in the sense that Every game, more or less, has a conflict. Right. Um, you and there is one combat in the game, even though it's played for laughs. I don't know if I'd count it then. If it's just a side. He point. quote unquote fights a squirrel, and then you don't actually fight the squirrel. Oh, I, I wouldn't count that. And if you don't play many, lol, happy good times. What's wrong with me? No, you play Happy Good Times, they just involve homicide. Plague Inc. <laughs> I have two games. Yeah, but again! Yes, I Technically, 